We just have one juicer here tonight. Um, for most people, I would recommend getting a juicer similar to the one we're going to have tonight. In fact, let me unplug this and maybe show you a little bit of how these work for the more mechanically minded people um, with this here. This is called a centrifugal juicer. So it's going to spin. Let me take this apart and show you this one. So it's going to shred it and then spin it out. So there's going to be a flat blade down here, all right? And there's all these sharp teeth on it. So that's going to sit down there and that's going to spin around real fast like that. Uh, you're going to put the fruit or vegetable down through that chute and push it against that blade. And it's, it's going to shred all that up. All right. And then this thing sits inside there and that's going to spin around really fast too. But there's little holes in that screen that are however big. It's going to let fluid and then small particles of fiber and other things through there as well. So when it spins real fast, it's going to force that fluid out towards the edges. The fluid's going to come through there, and then the fluid's going to, you know, come out here and come out your drain. That's where you'll get the juice from. The uh, in the back here, what this is going to do is all the stuff that's too big to go through there. So all that pulp is going to get flung out into the container there, and so you'll, you know, your pulp will come out through there. Um, these type of juicers are very fast. They're very convenient. They're very they're very easy to do. So if you're a person who needs something simple, and you want it fast, and you want all that stuff, that's, that's Dr. Mills there. He tells me, i got to be fast. If it's not fast, I won't do it. Um, if that's you, then get that type of juicer. Um, I don't presume that maybe for some people it's not so much a time issue. Maybe it's more a taste issue, or maybe if you can feel like you're getting the most juice out of it, you got more for your money, and that's better for you than taking a little you know, less time. So there are other types of juicers. Um, I'll just go over one type, there's even more types than this, but that top juicer, that's like the one we have here tonight. The bottom juicer, you can see in there, there's, there's these gears that are going to interlock and it's literally, instead of shredding it and kicking it out, it's going to pulverize or squeeze the cells open. Those do get more, they do break more of the cells open, they will get more juice out. Um, for green stuff, like the parsley, like the, the kale, the stuff like that that we'll do tonight, it's going to get more juice out. How much? Um, I don't know. I've, I've read different people's stuff and they say you know, maybe you get 15, 20 percent. I don't know. Um, you will get plenty of juice out of the other stuff. It's just you're not going to get the absolute last drop like you will with these things. When the pulp comes out of that one there, and my parents have one like that, um, it's, it's dry. There, there's, not, there's not watery stuff left in it. So uh, those are more expensive. They're longer cleanup. Um, they're not convenient for doing something like an orange or an apple. Um, the screen size, the filter sizes and things, they take more time. They're just, they're, they're a little bit more work. Um, I think it would be great to have both if you wanted to be a pro at it. But um, if I was just going to tell somebody to start out, what do you want to get? What should I buy? I would tell you buy something like this, all right? This one is called the jack lane Almost everybody maybe has seen the jack lane infomercial or know who that guy was because he popularized him. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows that he was a chiropractor. So he, he was actually a chiropractor and it's... Um, why do chiropractors do this type of stuff? Because it fits with the philosophy of health they have, right? It's a natural type of health as opposed to, instead of giving people pills, let's juice some stuff and get them healthy, right? Um, so something like this, how much does this cost? Probably around $99 or $100. You might be able to get these at Walmart. Um, you can get them on Amazon. Uh, you know, you, you can find them. They're very easy to get. Um, there's another one that I always recommend to people. It's actually a little bit more high powered than this. Um, this will do fine. I have a Jacqueline juicer. Um, I've had it for, I guess that's 2002, so 10 years. I've never had a problem with it. It's still going. It still juices my stuff. Um, so I don't think there's an issue with that. But they, there are other styles that actually have a more high-powered motor than that. So when it shreds it, I mean, really shred it, you will get a little bit more out of it, and, uh, and you'll, be, you'll be getting more bang for your buck there. So I don't know if I have that written down anywhere, but there's one called a Breville. There's a company called Breville, and they make a juicer, and they make centrifugal juicers like this, and they have a couple of different, um, couple of different kind of levels or, you know, that type of stuff as far as expense and power and that type of thing. The one that uh, I'm familiar with is called the Breville Juice Fountain Plus. That's the name of it. Um, I think it's an 850 watt motor that they make with it. So. That's, uh, that's a good one to look at too. I think that's probably a little bit more than this one, 
but it's probably less than the $200 range. So as far as if I want to do this, how much do I have to spend if you don't have one? They're, they're affordable. I mean, you just you have a piggy bank, you can save enough to get one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we're going to get to doing fun stuff soon, so hang on. <laughs>